Hello, what's up? I'm really excited about this video. I'm going to be going out tonight, clubbing in LA, and I need to be ready by, I think, like 8.30 or 9. But yeah, my um, roommate has been traveling like the past few weekends and hasn't been home in LA. I haven't really had anyone to go out with, and now that she's here this weekend, like, we want to go dance, we want to go party, want to go have fun, and I haven't gotten ready like this in a while so I really just wanted to go all out with like eyeshadow and glitter so I showered earlier and blow dried my hair and I um, definitely don't know how to do it because it always ends up looking like this <laughs> This isn't the cutest to look at either. Oh well. Okay, so I've already moisturized my face. It does feel a little bit dry, but I have this like makeup primer that I can add and I'll just add it later. I have like a few options for eyeshadow. So I have this like super pretty dark brown glitter or super crazy. I have this black one right here. <gasps> this would look amazing on the eyes. Oh my god. I think for tonight I'm gonna do this dark brown glitter just because the black one seems really aggressive. But another time I will do it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some jewelry. I have been trying to step up my jewelry game a lot because I mean back in the day I really only wore like maybe some simple earrings and a necklace and then that was it. But I've realized like if you really add a lot of jewelry it'll make a look. I recently got a few pieces from this company called Ana Luisa. They come in these like cute velvet pouches that I'm obsessed with. Like I definitely reuse these all the time. But um, yeah, what I really like about this brand is that they are like super sustainable. They only use 100% recycled gold. So I got these really cute earrings. They're just gold. I prefer gold myself when I wear jewelry just because, I don't know, I think it goes better with my skin tone. They're super high quality, but they don't have that price tag, which I love. Look at that, I look bougie already. Well, I got this bracelet, but I don't think I'll be able to put it on by myself. It has this like layered look to it. <gasps> Three layered necklace. <gasps> I'm so excited to try this. Oh, they're all, like all separated. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I actually love that. I usually get my jewelry from Forever 21 and it's like super cheap. The three layered necklaces will usually come all together. Way prefer when necklaces are like this, when they're like individual, because then you can like, you know, choose to wear all three or you choose like to wear like two or one if you want to. I'm gonna put on these necklaces and then I'll be back. All right guys, I just threw on all the jewelry. My roommate helped me put on this bracelet. Look at this, it's so Cute and like look at this necklace game going on right now. I also got this ring. Which one's the finger that is like you're not married? This is the married one, right? This is how single I am. I don't I just don't know these things But yeah, if you guys want any of the jewelry for yourself, like I'll put a link down below you guys can totally check it out I think I also have a discount code for you guys. So I'll put that down below too for you guys if you want it cheaper mm -hmm. <laughs> All of my makeup right now is in this um, a makeup carrier case or whatever. It's dope. I like use this every time I travel. I always prime by the way with concealer, so I'm just gonna do that. Mm, I'll move you guys a bit closer, why not? Actually, that's too close. I have been traveling a little bit in LA, working on like these commercial advertisements lately. I don't think I'm allowed to say for what companies, but I've done three in this past week and a half. I don't know, it's been super, super fun, but just a different change of pace. With working on a commercial or something, you have to be there at a certain time because that's like when the team is ready to film you. Sometimes they'll ask you to bring your own outfits, some of your own makeup. So this like entire week, I've been stuffing so many outfits, like all of my makeup in this like little carry-on suitcase. But yeah, I like finally finished the last one yesterday. So now I get to like finally unpack my suitcase, but it's still on the ground because I'm too lazy to do that. Priming with concealer, I just feel like it lasts longer. I used to use like the Urban Decay Primer Potion then I got really tired of it, uh, but I started using the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my eyes and it works so well. Like my eyeshadow stays all day. Just adding a like sheer color just to set the concealer so it's like not super sticky. Next, I'm going to be grabbing this color Riff right here. It's kind of just like your basic brown, but it has a little bit of an orange undertone to it. Oh my gosh, but I do have an update for you guys. So the saddest thing happened. So I have been doing these commercials just to gain extra cash, to be honest, and they'll give you a check at the end of the day. So I was like, okay, like that's kind of nice. Like there's like groceries for a few weeks. And then this week, I think this happened on Monday, so it was before the Tuesday shoot. I had to go and get the um, color of my nails changed because they wanted something like more like fall, I guess. I got on one of those like birds, like the scooters, because I didn't want to drive to the nail salon. And then as I'm riding on the scooter, I stop like mid-ride and I'm like, dude, 
wait, where's my car? I thought to myself, like, my car is legit missing. So I started panicking and freaking out. And I was like, what the heck? Like, was my car stolen? Was it towed? I knew it was probably towed. So I do what any um, other young girl would do in a panic state. I called the police. I legit dial 911. And then the guy answered and he was like, what's your emergency? Oh, like, my car is missing. I don't know if it was stolen or towed. And he was like, um, just a second ma'am like let me transfer you to another line some woman ended up answering me on the other line and she was like oh yeah like it shows that your car was towed not too long ago you can find it at this address and I was like okay great 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 I remember telling this to my friends and they're like Amanda like you know there's another number that you call to file police reports you don't actually call 911 oh <laughs> yikes yeah so I called 911 but whatever like I didn't know. Yeah, so I get to the towing place to pick up my car, and they tell me, like, oh, yeah, like, it's $300. It's set by the city. Like, that's what you have to pay. I was so sad. There goes legit all of the money that I made from, like, all doing all these commercials. You know, at first, I was super, super sad, but then I thought, like, you know, things could have been way worse. I, like, have my car. It's not broken or anything. Like, I still have it. These things happen as a young adult. You just, they're, like, learning experiences. But, yeah, a part of me was just, like, why are people so mean? Uh, also, like, eyeshadow is not my strong suit, so if this ends up looking really, like, muddy and not blended, it's you know what? It just, it happens. This is by Jcat. I'm gonna add first a layer on my lid and then I'm gonna start adding the glitter. I don't want to go too high though because I've done this before and the glue will like stick to the top if you like go too high. Be careful. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't used it yet. That looks so freaking pretty. I usually do my foundation first, but if I'm ever doing something crazy like this, then I'm definitely doing my eyeshadow because of fallout, baby. You guys are wondering where I got the glitter from. I got it from this like makeup store in Modesto. Uh, it's in the Vintage Fair Mall. I forgot what it's called, but I'll see if I can link it below. But at the store, the glitters are like only 50 cents each. So, so cheap. But I think you'd also buy glitters online and I think they're a bit more expensive but like they're still super cheap I don't hate it this looks pretty cool yeah okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish this side and then I'll be back all right guys so I just finished applying the glitter I think it looks so cool I need to wipe off the glitter that fell on my cheeks because right now I'm looking like the Mexican Kesha cool once you add the glitter it's really hard to like add more color on the crease so I feel like you just gotta be okay with it. Once you add the glitter, you're like done with blending everything else out. Mm, should I do my brows now or after foundation? I'll do my foundation first. Okay, and the foundation that I'll be using today, I'm sure a lot of you guys won't be surprised if you actually watch my videos. <laughs> I keep on having to go back to my makeup drawer and my makeup bag. Stuff's flying. I'm gonna use the Vanish Foundation by Hourglass. But yeah, you guys, besides um, getting my car towed this week, there are really many updates with my life right now. Oh my God, actually, there is something super crazy. Me and my mom, we're super, super close. Um, she basically is kind of like an older sister to me. We talk about everything. If I ever have a problem or if I just want to like girl talk with her, I'll just call her and we'll like chit chat. So yeah, she's in Phoenix right now and I'm in LA. So I don't see her very, very often. But um, yeah, we were just like, on a phone call like we usually do and she was telling me like yeah mija like i really want to get my boobs done after three kids they just start to sag a little bit and i just want to break them right up and i was like you know what mom like christian's like my older brother and i was like if christian's down like i'd be willing to like help pay for half of it and he could pay for the other half. I would want to give her something that would make her feel confident and happy. And she's been wanting this for so long. And I mean, I don't have the money with me right now, but I feel like if I can save, I could totally buy her the boob job if she wants to. And then she was like, oh, would you want to get it done with me? And I've been like, been thinking about it. But at the same time, like I've been so used to like my small boobs that I don't know, have a surgery like that really scares me. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know because I thought it was really funny, but I'm not, I'm not going to get my boobs done. I just like, that is super funny that we were talking about that. I may look super white right now. I swear it's the lighting. Now to set my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder. Okay, I'm gonna have to bake bending downward because my mirror is down here. Whoa. <laughs> so before I blend this powder out, I'm just gonna go ahead and like bronze my face because why not? I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and this is in the color Sunkissed. I want my cheekbones to pop, walk, and drop tonight. I have such a round face so I really just like 
need to add more structure to it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, and I'm just gonna use a bit of these darker colors to deepen up my contour. I never really add it underneath, but I will today, why not? The splash I'm using is by Note. The colors in Desert Rose, I just always add so much blush. It's just a personal preference. Now I'm gonna grab just a regular dome brush. This is by Equal Tools, it's so old, and I've had it for years. I don't usually bake, but I feel like for special occasions, you know, it's quite the requirement. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I've really been into pomades again. Um, I was using pencils for a bit and then I just got back into pomades. So this one is by LA Girl. All right guys, brows are done. I went ahead and just finished them off camera because I wasn't even talking while I was filling them in and I was like, this is so boring. I'm just, why am I filming right now? Now I'm gonna add highlighter. I'm using um, the Laura Geller. Jeller? I don't know how to say it. And this is in Gilded Honey. I want to be shining like a diamond tonight. I also like to add it here on the temples a little bit. Kind of makes it look like your skin's like a little bit dewy. Oh my god. <gasps> you see that? <gasps> I'm gonna throw up. I love it. I'm gonna smudge a little bit of the eyeshadow that I use on top underneath my eye. Oh yeah, this like I feel like it's so important when you do eyeshadow because it just completes the look. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Oh my god, it's so cool. I love this already. Okay, this is a big decision. I don't know if I want to do dark eyeliner and really just make it look like fierce or if I should do something lighter and not be as intense. This is the Urban Decay 24 hour eyeliner and then this is in the color Roach. Kind of a shimmery brown. That kind of made a difference. Hmm, I kind of like this eye better because it's like more open, but we already committed, so I'm gonna copy it. All right, so this is pretty dope. Mmm, okay. I think we're pretty much done with the makeup besides the lips. <gasps> wow, that's really fast. Oh, it's 8.30. Shoot, I have 30 minutes left and I still have to do my hair. This is not what we're sticking with, no. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Okay, this is the Kylie Lip Kit one in Ginger. I'm gonna add this Flesh Lip Gloss in Hot Sauce. Yeah, okay guys, so this is the finished makeup. Cool. Now, we have another problem to fix. The hair. Oh god. Oh, actually, this is like the perfect moment for me to do this. I always get questions on um, how I style my hair because it looks like it was blow dried, but in reality, like, this is what my hair looks like when I blow dry it. But my secret is I use the... In oh, it's not on. <laughs> but my secret is I use the... In styler. This is not sponsored. I've been using the in styler since seventh grade. There was this like essay contest that my history teacher was having. You had to write some sort of essay on why you're proud of being American or something like that. <laughs> I think my topic was like my parents worked really hard for us to be here, first generation, and I wouldn't have the education I have today if it wasn't for my family and if it wasn't for them like coming here. Like that's why I'm so thankful to be like in this country to be an American. So I wrote this essay about it and I ended up getting first place and the first place prize was a hundred dollars and with those a hundred dollars you guessed it i bought an instyler so i used up all that money and i bought one also it's really loud and it comes out looking like this just flips out a little bit i remember when i first got it I didn't really know how to flip it and everything, but I mean I've had it for so many years I've, I've really gotten the hang of it. Sometimes I'll just start with the barrel underneath and then twist and then it comes out, it's kind of curled on the ends. And then the other way is I'll start with a barrel on top like this, flip it out, and then, yeah, it kind of strains it and curls it at the same time, which is why I really like it. I have pretty frizzy, wavy hair, so the fact that I have something that can like straighten my hair and also add like a little bit of like volume and a bit of a curl to it, I'm obsessed. There's like certain spots of my hair where I'll go the opposite direction on purpose, but for this bottom layer, like I'll just go all in the same direction. Like I feel like I don't really club, but now that I'm like, I don't know, in my 20s, I, sh I feel like I should go out and have more fun like that and kind of take advantage that I'm living in a bigger city. Like in my college town, the most we ever did was like go to bars, you know, like we didn't go clubbing ever. Okay, so for this piece, I'm gonna go underneath, just cause I like a few pieces that kind of frame my face like that. I have a best friend of mine that is trying to convince me to go to Vegas with him, and I'm like terrified. <laughs> like, that would be such a disaster. All right guys, well this is how my hair is looking like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest, and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so I just finished my hair, and now I'm going to hairspray it. Mm. I always like to add a little bit of hairspray underneath. 
because it adds a bit more texture and like volume. Awesome, so we are almost done. My roommate right now is about to go to the grocery store because she like has no alcohol, it's pre-game. <laughs> so she's about to go to the grocery store, but I need to find an outfit in the meantime. Mm, I have a few options. What's up? I'm back. <laughs> so a few things happened. I had to take a little bit of a break from filming because my camera just stopped recording for some reason. And then I looked and my SD card was just completely full. I've never done that before. So editing is gonna suck so much. You can already tell, whatever. I wanna finish this video. So I ended up just throwing on the pink dress I was like kind of iffy about. It doesn't really match my makeup perfectly, but it's cute, it's comfy. All right you guys, but this was, oh, I'm like crouching really low by the way because I need to freeze my camera. What am I doing? Cool. Well, this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for getting ready with me. This is a lot of fun. Oh, I forgot to mention this. I took off one of the necklaces from the layers, and I really like this. I think it looks really cute. So yeah, if you guys want to check out any of the jewelry that I'm wearing, I'll put the link down below. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for getting ready with me. I'm going to go ahead and drink a white claw right now. Love you. Bye.